I think there's been a perceptible change in the last three to four years on this topic. What's happened since then is the occupier, the consumer, the tenant, the, the staff working in these companies has, is beginning to say if your building, if, if, if you as a company are willing to locate in that building with its poor sustainability positioning, I'm not going to come and work for you. I'm going to make that active decision. My brand is being affected by your brand and if your brand is being affected by a poor building, I'm not coming to you. And I think you're going to see this grow, this, this, this brand decision, this, this, this idea that people are investing in their longer term futures by choosing which companies they go and work for based upon that company's sustainability credentials. And what that means is the buildings that we have to own, the buildings we have to develop necessarily need to be of a higher sustainability quality. And as a result, we're investing an immense amount of time in the ways that we can reduce our carbon footprint, reduce the embodied carbon, and make sure that we are uh, we're delivering buildings that will meet those employers' uh, objectives and their own staff objectives. And that's a big change.